Hey there guys, so for today we are going to be talking about the rotational constraint inside of Inventor. Now that constraint is going to require some sort of an assembly. Here we have two spare gears. They're already somewhat constrained to the shaft. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at what's going on here. So notice that we do have these two gears. They are independent of each other as of right now. So the first step when working with the rotational constraint is that you want to make sure that you get your gears somewhat close to the correct location here, right? So play around with it. Again, these are the same exact size, so that is going to matter later down the road. Let's go up to the relationships tab, click on constraint. Here, notice that we do have the assembly constraints. Now the rotation constraint is going to be on the next tab over in the motion. And that's going to be the first selection here. Now it is asking for a few selections. It's important to note too that if you have a large assembly, it's sometimes easier to pick the part first. In this case, notice that I have a few components only so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and select that just so you guys can see. It's asking me to click on the part first. Now it's asking me to actually select a face. So I selected that face there. It's asking for the second component. Click on the second component, select the face. And here on the bottom, you have a couple options, whether you want them going both the same direction or the opposite direction. And like I mentioned, you want to make sure that you have the correct ratio. Again, it's pretty straightforward to calculate. Just make sure that you know the either the number of teeth on one gear versus the other gear. Once you have that selected, go ahead and click OK. And let's give it a try. So that's been how to work with the rotation constraint, guys. Hope that helps.